Shadows of Deception Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Azureville, there lived a renowned detective named Ethan Rivers. With his sharp intellect and keen eye for detail, he had solved countless mysterious cases that had stumped even the most seasoned police officers. However, one particular case would prove to be his greatest challenge yet. It all began when Ethan received a frantic phone call from Amelia Sinclair, a wealthy socialite known for her glamorous parties. She explained that she had been receiving anonymous letters threatening to expose a dark secret from her past if she did not pay an exorbitant amount of money. Fearing for her reputation, Amelia implored Ethan to investigate and put a stop to this torment. Determined to help, Ethan met with Amelia in her lavish penthouse apartment. As they spoke, he noticed that her demeanor seemed off, as though she was hiding something. Sensing her unease, Ethan gently reassured her that he would uncover the truth, no matter how deep it lay hidden. With a stack of cryptic letters as his only lead, Ethan immersed himself in the investigation. He meticulously studied the handwriting, comparing it to known samples, but found no match. Undeterred, he delved deeper, meeting with Amelia's close friends and acquaintances. Hoping to find a connection to the elusive blackmailer. Days turned into weeks, and as Ethan tirelessly pursued the truth, he uncovered a web of lies and deceit that ensnared everyone in Amelia's inner circle. Each person he interviewed had their own secrets. Seemingly unrelated yet intertwined in some inexplicable way. The more he discovered, the more he realized that this case was far from ordinary. One by one, Ethan peeled back the layers of deception, exposing clandestine affairs, hidden addictions, and long-buried family feuds. But amidst the chaos, he always stood as a beacon of hope and support for each person involved, extending his gentle guidance and understanding in their darkest moments. Finally, after countless sleepless nights and tireless pursuit, Ethan unearthed the true identity of the blackmailer. The villain turned out to be none other than Amelia's own personal assistant, Dorothy Johnson. She had taken advantage of Amelia's vulnerability and manipulated the situation to her advantage. In a dramatic confrontation, Ethan confronted Dorothy, unveiling a meticulously crafted plan devised to exploit Amelia's fear and desperation. Through a combination of intellect and empathy, Ethan convinced Dorothy to turn herself in and face the consequences of her actions. With the mystery solved, Amelia breathed a sigh of relief, grateful to have the darkness lifted from her life. In that moment of triumph, Ethan Rivers stood as a symbol of justice, compassion, and unwavering determination, proving that even in the shadows of deception, goodness and truth would prevail. And so, the story of Ethan Rivers, the legendary detective of Azureville, would forever be etched into the annals of the city's history, serving as a reminder that sometimes, the most challenging mysteries can only be solved with patience, understanding, and a gentle hand to guide the way. The Mystery of the Vanished Gems Detective James had been on the case for months. A string of jewelry store heists had been happening all across town and the latest hit was his biggest yet. The infamous Crimson Diamond, worth millions, had been stolen from the museum. James had interviewed dozens of witnesses and suspects, searched high and low for any clues, but nothing seemed to pan out. It was as if the culprit knew exactly how to cover their tracks. Finally, a breakthrough came when a small-time crook named Benny was caught with a rare gemstone. It was traced back to one of the heists and James knew he had to act fast. Benny refused to give up his accomplices, but James had a plan. He posed as a buyer for the stolen jewels, and soon enough, he was face to face with the mastermind behind the heists. It turned out that the thief was none other than the curator of the museum. He had been stealing the gems and selling them on the black market for years, and no one had ever suspected a thing. With the help of Benny, James was able to obtain the evidence needed to convict the curator. It was a long and exhausting case, but justice was served, and the stolen gems were finally returned to their rightful owners. Detective James knew that this wouldn't be his last case, but he also knew that with determination and a bit of luck, no criminal could escape his grasp. The Elusive Cipher 
Once upon a time in the bustling city of Arcadia, there lived a renowned detective named Thomas Davis. With his sharp intellect and keen eye for detail, he had successfully solved countless mysteries that had left others perplexed. However, a new case had just landed on his desk, one that would challenge him unlike any other. It all began on a foggy evening when a distressed lady named Victoria Gainsborough sought Thomas's assistance. Victoria was quite well known in high society circles due to her passion for collecting rare artifacts from across the globe. She explained to Thomas that her most prized possession, an ancient artifact known as the elusive cipher, had been stolen from her heavily guarded mansion. The elusive cipher was believed to hold an unsolvable code, which many had tried to crack over the years. Legend had it that whoever deciphered it would be granted unimaginable power. The mystery surrounding the artifact intrigued Thomas, and he immediately agreed to take the case. Thomas delved deep into the investigation, questioning the servants, examining the crime scene meticulously, and studying Victoria's extensive collection for any possible clues. Days turned into weeks, and yet, the identity of the thief eluded him. Frustration began to creep into Thomas's mind. But he couldn't give up. One day, while revisiting the crime scene, Thomas stumbled upon a tiny piece of parchment hidden underneath a Persian rug. It seemed insignificant, but he knew better than to overlook any possibility. After careful examination, he discovered a microscopic message etched onto the parchment, a clue left by the cunning thief. The message read, In the depths of the darkest night, where stars hide their guiding light, beneath the clock that counts our days, the truth shall shine through tangled haze. Thomas pondered these enigmatic lines, trying to decipher their hidden meaning. Hours turned into days as he retraced the steps described in the note. Finally, in the dead of night, he found himself standing beneath the towering town clock, its hand silently ticking away. With a surge of intuition, Thomas observed the moonlight casting intriguing shadows near the clock's base. As he approached, a small switch was revealed, concealed within the intricate carvings. With a flick, a secret passage opened before his eyes, leading him into a dimly lit chamber below. There, he found the thief, a master of disguise named Edgar Blackwood, standing amidst a collection of stolen artifacts. Edgar had long been fascinated by the elusive cipher and had dedicated years to deciphering its code. Unable to solve it himself, he had chosen to steal it. Hoping that its secrets would gradually unravel in his possession, Thomas confronted Edgar, revealing how he had pieced together the clue and tracked him down. Edgar admitted defeat and marveled at Thomas's astute deduction skills. The two men engaged in a conversation about their shared passion for mysteries until the authorities arrived to apprehend the thief. News of Thomas's successful recovery of the elusive cipher spread throughout Arcadia, cementing his reputation as the city's most brilliant detective. However, he remained humble, always attributing his success to patience, steady observation, and a deep appreciation for the most cryptic of puzzles. And so, Thomas Davis continued to take on new cases, never ceasing his quest to unravel the secrets hidden within the labyrinth of human nature and the enigmatic workings of the world around him.